What is up, rock and metal fans? Uh, so here I am with the next edition of what is it that you can listen to if you're getting into the rock and roll genre. And this time we're talking about Aerosmith. Phenomenal, iconic band has had a huge impact on not just, you know, the genres of rock and metal and so on, but on pop culture itself. And uh, a great band, still going strong, um, obviously getting old. <laughs> But I gotta hand it to them. I mean, still putting out great stuff out there, you know. So, you know, salute all the way. So, guys want to know, and guys have obviously had their favorites. But, you know, if you're new to Aerosmith and you want to really listen to what records I actually have to get into, here is what I think are the three records. And again, guys, this is just my opinion. Please let me know what you guys think. You don't have to agree. You may agree. Love to hear from you. All right. So, the first record I think would be Permanent Vacation. I mean, this has the iconic song. Dude Looks Like a Lady, and if you guys haven't heard it, please check it out. It was a huge hit, still is a big hit with a lot of fans. Uh, you have songs like, you know, Angel, which is a huge ballad for them. Uh, Ragdoll, uh, you have, you know, songs like Magic Touch. Uh, you know, Hangman Jury, if I'm not wrong, is a pretty damn good song as well. Um, and you have uh, things like, um, you know, I'm Down and so on. So I think that this was, you know, a real comeback album for the band. Uh, if you don't know too much about the band's history, you can always check it out. Uh, I don't take too much time actually covering it, but uh, essentially this is a record that you could probably start off with uh, to get a sense of what Aerosmith is about. The next album I would pick would be this one. Um, I think that, again, this was huge uh, in so many ways for the band, really elevated their career um, and, you know, sort of gave them a good sense of, you know, uh, you know, expanding the fan base so to speak and so on so you obviously have songs like you know uh love in an elevator monkey on my back you have songs like what it takes uh you know songs like you know uh hoodoo voodoo um and uh f-i-n-e and so on you know so this was an album that uh, you know expands and you know has a lot of uh, different you know flavors to it and a lot of you know interesting themes and so on just great classic uh, actually i don't use the word classic i hate that term i'm sorry i'm using it but um just great rock and roll i mean just a lot of fun so just check that album out the next album i would probably pick would be this one uh which would be get a grip uh i was debating between this and another album of theirs which was nine lives but this kind of just edges it a bit for me so i would say that this is really the other one that you guys could check out you know eat the rich uh, walk on down, living on the edge. Oh my God! I mean, that is one hell of a song. You know, uh, really huge. Uh, it has to uh, sort of feel like you know ballad type tracks out here. Not exactly. Some guys would argue and say ballad. Some guys would say not. But you know, crying and you know, crazy, which were huge. I mean, the music videos and MTV and stuff like that, massive. Uh, the song, amazing. Um, you know, shut up and dance. Uh, things like that. So. Uh, I think that this was another strong record, so uh, this kind of gives you a good sense of what, you know, the band is about and, you know, what is the kind of music that they have. So those are my top three recommendations, guys. Let me know what you guys think, whether you agree or disagree. Love to hear from you. And as always, guys, you take care and I will talk to you soon and rock on.